What company just made available a free version of their AI-based testing software? Want to know why testing AI doesn't have to be alarming? And what performance testing tool now works with Playwright? Find out in this episode of the Automation and DevSecOps News Show for the week of June 11th. So grab your favorite cup of coffee or tea and let's do this. Are you looking to take your automation projects to the next level? Look no further than Appy Tools in their visual AI validation testing platform. Trust me, I've used it in the past. It is a game changer. Plus, you could try it out for yourself now by creating a free account using the special link down below. So TestResults.io has unveiled a free version of their service. Users now can access an AI-backed virtual user, have unlimited test cases, and unlimited executions. And I've spoken to TestResults.io on my podcast before, and they talk about how they can help reduce the risk that customers now face, and they can help eliminate common test automation struggles, such as locating elements, scrolling, and dealing with high maintenance or flaky test cases. In addition, it addresses issues related to IDs, legacy software, graphical text, API-based software, dynamic elements, and even complex scenarios like tables or 3D modeling and rendering software. The virtual user, powered by the company's proprietary true test technology, interacts with the software under test in a completely stable manner and requires no special training or certification and helps keep you in control of your automation and test scenarios. So how do you get your hands on this free version? All you need to do is head on over to the link down below that I'll have linked to my LinkedIn post. And all you need to do is in the comments, type in me, and they'll send you a special code that will allow you to unlock all these awesome free features. So definitely check that out in the first comment down below. And if you're looking for other ways to find out how you can start scaling your test and learn from other top forming teams, I have a webinar for you that I think you're definitely going to learn a lot from. And this upcoming webinar by Apple Tools is going to take place on June 20th. And they're going to be holding a panel discussion featuring leading figures from Domino's and Netflix, including Jose and Philippe. And the session will be guided by the one and only Andy Knight, who's going to delve into the complex topic of testing at scale and the successful strategies deployed in their respective organizations. It also has Mike Milgate and Arika. It's a really great lineup here. So as more and more testers are being asked to test more and more at scale, it's becoming really essential that you learn how to do this correctly. And this awesome panel is going to shed light on their unique solutions and innovative strategies with the focus on test cases, test data, and test execution. And they're going to share the methods that have proven successful in their organizations. So real world success stories of what worked for them, while they also touch upon their journey towards achieving large scale testing. So don't miss out on this awesome opportunity to learn more from the best in the business about cutting edge technologies and strategies that are shaping the future of testing at scale. Register down below and hope to see you there. Speaking of Apple Tools, did you happen to catch the front end test fest I co-hosted that was sponsored by the folks at Apple Tools, Cypress, and Netlify? No worries if not, because they've just let me know that the on-demand library is now available for the whole front end test virtual event. So I had a really great time at this event, and there was a lot of great information, a lot of great sessions from thought leaders like Philip, Jason, Ramona, Kobe, and a bunch of others from companies like Meta, Runway, and Streamlab. And people were actually really raving about the keynote by Jason, the style he did it in. If you missed it, you have to check it out, and you can find it in the first comment down below. Do you find testing AI to be alarming? Well, now you don't have to. In a new blog series by Jeff, He aims to demystify the notion of testing AI systems and to provide a balanced perspective against the prevailing alarmist views. So Jeff urges organizations to view AI as a technology that augments human activity rather than replaces it. And he breaks down the key components of AI testing into controllability, he goes over observability, reproducibility, and predictability. And the discussion includes managing input data and model configurations, understanding internal workings, reproducing test reliability, and anticipating AI system behaviors. And the series promises to help organizations transition from fearing AI to comprehensively testing and leveraging its potential. So thank you, Jeff, for this valuable contribution to the test community. And you can find it all in the first comment down below. So what IDE just announced and now has support for both Playwright and Cypress? Let's find out. So JetBrains has just announced that its test automation IDE Aqua now supports Playwright and Cypress, both the very popular open source test automation frameworks. And according to JetBrains, 
They were highly requested by users. If you don't know, JetBrains first introduced Aqua in November 2022. We covered it on our news show when it first came out. And the ID is still currently in active development. It allows QA engineers to develop automated UI and API tests and offers support for Java, Catalan, Python, JavaScript, TypeScript, and SQL. And it also offers intelligent coding assistance. When JetBrains initially released Aqua, it had support for Selenium API and Selenide. But by adding support for Playwright and Cypress, it now provides a more robust testing solutions for a lot of testers out there. So if you were on the fence about using this new IDE because you use Playwright or Cypress, now's the time to give it a try and see how it works for you and leave a comment what your thoughts are down below. And as I was researching news items on LinkedIn, another announcement came my way. And that is how Sauce Labs and test management platform TestRails have announced a integration. So with this powerful pairing, it aims to equip engineers with rapid feedback, reducing development complexity, and saving precious engineering time. And VP of product at Sauce Labs, Mike Donovan, highlighted the confidence boost in test coverage this merger will bring, especially for organizations folding automation testing into their compliance, security, and legal operations. So if you use Sauce Labs, if you use TestRail, just another reason why this integration is definitely something you should check out. Also, by now, you should know that I released a new book about two weeks ago called Automation Awesomeness. If you're in the U.S., you can now have the Kindle version, the hardcover version, and the paperback version. Depending on what country you're in, sometimes all these are available, or sometimes only a few of them are available. But if you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you check it out. Go to your country's Amazon and type in Automation Awesomeness. I should bring it up. And if you have already downloaded the book, we have almost 850 folks that have so far. Or if you're one of the folks I gave a free copy to at QA or the Highway, if you haven't already, please, 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 can you do me a favor and just rate, give me an honest rating and review for the book itself. And the easiest way to do that is just type in testskill.com forward slash review book. It really will help us in the rankings and help spread more automation awesomeness to the masses. So thank you everyone that have reviewed it so far. If you haven't already, I highly recommend you do and, and increase your automation comma. So this next article comes your way via Scott Moore. And it's how observability is the new APM for cloud native applications. And the article he points to is on observability by Benedict Fernandez and Brian Safran, which covers how cloud native apps herald the era of observability over traditional APM solutions to going on the days when metrics alone are enough to monitor and diagnose the health of a monolithic application, the arrival of dynamic, ephemeral, and ultra distributed cloud native applications demands a revolution in monitoring, and that's where observability steps in. This article goes over why providing not just an understanding of the what has happened, but the why is also important. And by capturing and analyzing every request in detail in context, it helps you to swiftly pinpoint the root cause of an issue, ending the blame game often seen in IT war rooms. So thank you, Scott, for pointing to that post. And last up, I think it's a pretty pretty cool announcement. If you have anything to do with Playwright and you want to get into performance testing, I have a great news for you. And the founder of Artillery.io just announced on LinkedIn this week that they just shipped a big release that supports AWS, Fargate, and Playwright in Artillery. In the latest update, AWS Fargate now supports test running, enabling users to scale out their load tests horizontally for any of the six regions if you don't know, AWS Fargate is a serverless solution, and it does not impose any restrictions on the duration of load tests, distinguishing it from AWS Lambda. And in other significant development, Artillery's Playwright integration now fully supports Fargate, allowing users to run browser-based tests at scale with increased ease. So you can now use distributed cloud-native load testing using real headless browsers, free and available to everyone with zero infrastructure to manage. Definitely a great initiative that you definitely should check out as well. All right, for links of everything value we covered in this news episode, head on over to the links in the first comment down below. And while you're there, make sure to check out our awesome sponsor, Apply Tools, free account offer, and discover how to take your automation testing to the next level, leveraging visual AI. So that's it for this episode of the Test Guild News Show. I'm Joe, and my mission is to help you succeed in creating end-to-end -end full stack pipeline automation awesomeness. As always, test everything and keep the good. Cheers.